Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Lucas. Welcome to my studio in Los Angeles. I just wanted to post this video. This is just going to be a really quick and dirty review and uh, kind of just like a quick start guide for getting up and running in the new sonar works that they just updated here. So I woke up this morning and got the notification on my computer that I could update sonar works, which I've been really excited about because I want to run it in my Apollo console software and not have to worry about having an extra layer of software on my computer. And I'm really happy to report that it works really, really well. And I just wanted to make this video real quick to just run you through a couple of the things that you need to do to get this set up because there's a few steps to it. So I hope this is really helpful. Let me know in the comments. And I'm not affiliated with any company. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I hope that this can help you make an informed decision to see if it's worth the extra 50 bucks if you need to do this and um, enjoy. Okay, so there's three steps to doing this whole update process. The first step is you're gonna wanna open up your Sonarworks Sound ID Reference app right here. And I'm not gonna do this right now because it's gonna change my audio routing, but basically when you open this up as normal, it will prompt you to update to the latest software. So you're gonna wanna do that first. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to Universal Audio Connect. So this is their app that allows you to update the Universal Audio software and you're gonna to wanna to go to Apollo and UAD and you're gonna to wanna to update all of these. So UAD software and UAD console. So this is gonna do a firmware update on your Apollo. You're gonna to have to turn it on and off and it's gonna download the latest software. This takes a few minutes actually, so don't um, do this. If you're in a time crunch, it definitely takes a little while. The third step is you actually need to go to the Sonarworks website and purchase the Apollo monitor correction add-on. So if you're like me and probably most people watching this video, you probably have like the first generation Apollo x8 p or x8 or whatever it is x6 not the brand new ones so in this case you need to buy this and it's 50 dollars. i kind of was hoping this was going to be for free so i have mixed feelings about paying for this but i'm actually pretty happy because it rectified the main issues that i had with this software and we're going to get into that in a second so now once you've updated everything and actually purchased the sonar works the fourth step that i overlooked is you actually need to log into your account and actually activate the activation key so obviously I can't show you this on my end, but they email you an activation key and then you have to copy and paste that and register the software in your um, personal account page here. And then finally, it'll prompt you to open up Sonarworks and you, st you can start using the new features from there. So let's look at what has changed. This is the new layout. You have your Apollo X8P up here, your speakers, headphones one and two. So you can assign different curves to the two headphone jacks on the front. And then once you've assigned that up here, you can apply profile to Apollo X. Once you've successfully completed this upgrade, your new features that you have now are, you have your monitor correction curve built into console now, so you can bypass and change that here. You also have two independent headphone jacks that can have independent curves for different headphones right here in console as well. The next improvement is that you do not need to have sound ID reference open anymore and it will not be routing all your system audio through there. So everything's gonna be routed through Apollo. Lastly, the best part is you do not need to have the sound ID reference plugin on your master bus in your template anymore in Pro Tools or the listen bus or the control room in Cubase. Um, so that's really, really nice because it was a little confusing to have to remember to bypass this before you bounce stuff out or you would have to create a separate aux for that. So I love not having to worry about that anymore. It's all just baked into console. Once again, my name's Lucas. Thanks so much for checking out my video. I have a new UAD Apollo video course that I posted recently on my website. So if you don't know how to use everything in console and and Apollo for live and studio, go check that out. I'll help you get your money's worth. And also definitely check out my channel if you want more videos like this related to modern music production. I'll catch you all in the next one later.